Sticky scrolling gives you additional context while working in a code editor. I've turned on the feature, and watch what happens as I start scrolling through this TypeScript file. Now up at the top, you'll notice how as I got to that class, we have this extra line that is hanging around, and that is telling us that we are currently inside of the code action widget class. If I scroll back up to go past the class again, notice how that top line here, that is going away. Now this is the sticky scrolling part, and what it is basically doing is that as soon as you hit a class or function or method or anything like that, it is going to keep around the line that is declaring that at the top of the file. This provides a handy guide that lets you go and see where you currently are inside of the file. So if I'm scrolling through here and get down to the show function, for example, notice how we have the two lines that are now showing up. So the first line in the sticky scrolling is the one that's telling us that we're inside the code action widget class. The second line is telling us that we're inside of the show method here. This can be a helpful reminder of where you are in the current file. You can also use this to go and quickly jump back to one of these places. So if I wanted to jump to the show method itself, I can just click on this. That will go and scroll the show method into view. If I wanted to jump to the code action widget class, I can go and click on that. And you can see that we are now on the code action widget class itself. So you can just click on these sticky scroll lines to actually jump to the uh, line that's being referenced. Now, sticky scrolling is off by default, but it's very easy to turn on. To do so, just open up the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for sticky scroll. And you want the editor sticky scroll enabled setting here. Once you turn this on, you'll start seeing the little sticky scrolls at the top of the file. Now it won't work in every language that you're working in, but it is widely supported in many common languages and you can install extensions to get additional support. So you can see it's working here in a TypeScript file. If it opens up something like a markdown file, so we'll just go over to the readme, Notice how we're even getting sticky scrolling in the markdown file here. So it is supported in a variety of languages, but if you're working in a specific language, you might need to install an extension to enable this feature. So that's a quick introduction to the sticky scrolling feature in VS Code.